ATCO is building a $2 billion mm -hmm. natural uh, gas pipeline in Alberta. This, we know, will create jobs. It will also serve as a pathway for uh, potentially enabling more hydrogen innovation in the province. I guess you couple that with the completion of the Trans-Canada, uh, Trans-Mountain expansion, prob uh, pardon me. Uh, that's good news. We would appear to be going in the right direction on that front. Completely. I mean, one of the things that I, I think people keep forgetting is that even at COP28, where everybody gathered to talk about what they want to do to reduce emissions, one of the final communiques said that natural gas is a, a transition fuel. Now, we look at natural gas as not only a transition fuel, but also a destination fuel, because it does have a, a lower emissions profile. It was When I was growing up, we called it the cleaner burning fuel, and it is. But in addition to that, it's going to, when we build out that natural gas infrastructure, that's when you can start adding hydrogen to that natural gas stream to reduce emissions. You may be able to line those pipes so that they can be uh, used e either for hydrogen or even biogas. So there's no reason why we should be uh, trying to constrain the, the development of pipeline access to this vitally important fuel. But we, we, we should be encouraging the, the, the development, not only here, but across the country and around the world. And that's what we're, we're going to do. It's, it's part of our emissions reduction and energy development plan is to work on ways of creating new avenues for exporting LNG and ammonia and hydrogen so that we can reduce the use of higher emitting fuels around the world. So I'm very pleased to see that ATCO is, is making a, a, an extra investment and in showing their confidence in that industry. It's really important.